I feel like No Reservations is probably more realistic than some people may care to admit. Minnie Mouse has made reservations for herself, Daisy Duck and Clara Bell Cow to go to what is considered to be the poshest, most expensive, exclusive restaurant around. And they are all very excited. They look well-dressed. You know, they look smart and relatively tidy and, and kempt. And they arrive at the restaurant and approach the maitre d' and Minnie says they have a, a reservation. And the maitre d' looks in his book. We, the viewer, can see Minnie's reservation. And the maitre d' says to Minnie, you do not have a reservation. And by contrast, as I said, they look well-dressed. But by contrast, you can tell that they are underdressed. They're not the usual clientele at this restaurant. And this maitre d' has decided to turn them away. But Minnie Mouse, having confirmed the reservation earlier that day, decides that they're going to do everything they can to get inside that restaurant. And throughout the course of the cartoon, they try all kinds of techniques to get that reservation. Whether or not they do, of course, I'm not going to say. But I feel like that probably happens a lot. Maybe more than people would like to admit that people turn up to restaurants with a reservation. They maybe don't look the part and they are turned away. I don't know what the policy is on that or if they can, well, I'm assuming they legally can't do that. But then maybe they can if they have a dress code. I'm not sure, actually, if you, you know, are in the know about that kind of thing. Can you turn somebody away if they have a reservation and they're not dressed properly? I don't know. I mean, I assume you can. It's up to you. If you own the restaurant, you can do what you want. But I'm sure there are some legal implications on one side or the other. I'd be keen to learn more. But certainly, I feel like it probably happens a lot. And it's it's a, it's a harsh truth. Um, it, particularly, Clara Belkow was the cause of a lot of this. I loved the joke about the others. Well, loved is an exaggeration. But I enjoyed the joke about the others. And I, I had good fun with it. It's very well animated. It's nice to have an episode that just focuses on Minnie, Daisy and Cuckoo, and, um, not Cuckoo Loca, Clara Bell Cow. Um, I, I wonder what C Cuckoo Loca would look like if she was animated in this style. I don't think she's ever made an appearance in this series, but I think she'd look pretty great. That's irrelevant. I enjoy the narrative. I thought it was probably very realistic. Maybe not the lens they go to to get inside. I think that maybe might have been a little bit extreme. I'd hope. And I enjoyed it a lot. If you haven't seen it and you're a fan of this Mickey Mouse series, or if you're particularly a fan of Minnie Mouse, No Reservations is definitely worth checking out. It's also very thought-provoking, well-animated, fascinating narrative. Definitely one I recommend.